Hi everyone, I am the student of Education Hub. From now onwards, we will start with the new units on functions. In this presentation, we will try to cover some basic concepts of function, that is introductions, syntax, why functions, declaration, definition and call, types of functions, how function works, passing parameters to function, call by value and call by reference. So let's get started. What is a function? Functions are used to divide a large C program into a smaller pieces. A function can be called multiple times to provide reusability and modularity to the C program. The collection of function creates a program. Function syntax. The basic syntax of a C function is written as follows. Return type function name within the parenthesis there are some inputs. Here return type indicates the type of output returned by the function. The function name indicates the name of the function and the set of inputs within the parenthesis indicates the input provided to the function. Advantages of a C function. We can avoid rewriting same logic through C functions. We can divide work among programmers using functions. We can track a large C program easily when it is divided into multiple functions. Why functions? There are two reasons of why we are using functions. The first one is reusability. Once the function is defined, it can be reused over and over again. That is, you can reuse the function again and again in your code without defining its modularity. In once defined and can be used again and again. The second one is abstraction. If you are just using the function in your program, then you don't have to worry about how it works inside. For example, a scanf function. You can reuse a scanf function multiple number of times, right, without defining its functionality again and again. And also it provides the level of abstraction. That means you don't have to worry about how it works. You can simply use it in your code without even worrying about how it works. Therefore, functions satisfy both the property that is reusability and abstraction. Declaration, definition and call. A function is declared to tell a compiler about its existence. A function is defined to get some task done that is actual statement. A function is called in order to be used. Types of functions. Basically, there are two types of function. The first one is library function that is also called predefined function. Those functions which are already defined in C header files are called library functions. For example, printf function, scanf function, etc. User defined function. These functions are created by the user, which is used to reduce the complexity of the program. Library functions. Functions include in C header files. For example, gets, scanf, printf, clr, scr, j, puts, etc. User defined function. Functions created by C programmer or the user to reduce complexity of a program. Example, find the area of rectangle using function. Here we are using the header file has include studio.h. Inside this area of rectangle, I am providing two inputs that is the length and the breadth. By multiplying the length and the breadth, we are calculating the area here and it will return the value because the value returned is integer type, so I am writing int over here. I need to write int because of this. That means after the calculation, the value returned throughout this function. Another example is add two numbers using function as you can see here. Now passing parameters to function. When a function is called, the calling function may have to pass some values to the called function, known as parameters or arguments. The value of actual parameter is always equal to the value of formal parameter. There are two ways in which arguments or parameters can be passed to the called function. They include call by value and call by difference. Difference between the call by and value and call by difference. 
the parameters that we are using over here includes convention of their naming effects of changes types of passing memory location language supported value of modification internal implementation thank you that's all hope you like the video